So there's a few things I've learned over the years from some very good fly tires that have helped me a lot. And they're actually not techniques, and I have learned a lot of good techniques from fly tires, but they're more to do with how I, I do things here in my fly tying area. Little things that have helped me a lot. And the first one I'll tell you has got to do with these magnets and how important they are to helping you when you've done what I've done and know you've all done it. And that is when you've dropped a hook. And if you know what I'm talking about, you drop a hook and, or a fly, it hits the carpet and you can't find it. And it's like, oh no. And especially if you're like me, sometimes I have a little TV tray and I like to sit there and watch the hockey game or the football game and tie flies and I drop something off the table. Try not to do it, but always a big panic. So the thing I've learned, and somebody taught me this, is to get one of these. And you've probably seen them at your local hardware store, automotive stores, etc. And it's a magnet on a pole. And they have different types. You can get the round like this, or you can get the long bars. But the key is, you take this when you drop a hook and you can't see it, and start going around on your carpet or on your floor, whatever the case may be, a hardwood floor, and you're trying to find it, and all of a sudden you hear tink, and you found your hook. These things are invaluable, uh, especially, I don't know what it is, when you drop a hook on carpet, you'd think it would slow it down from bouncing. If anything, it's almost like a springboard, it just bounces off into the distance. So when you drop a hook, if you've got one of these, it can save the day. So you don't step on it, your dog doesn't step on it, or your spouse, or anybody, because you don't want a hook laying on the floor. These are really invaluable to have. The second tip I have has to do with magnets again, this time in a dish. And I don't know if you've ever seen these before. I, was, I know some of you had. Uh, they're, again, at automotive stores, hardware stores, etc but they're magnetic dishes. You got a earth magnet on the bottom, and what's great, there you are, and you wanna put some hooks off to the side, you're busy tying, you can just take your hook, boom, it'll go in here, and guess what, it doesn't fall out. In fact, you can take a fly, here's a, here's a fly right here, take this fly like this, sticks. Perfect, I mean, these are made to put screws, washers, nails, whatever, when people are working on their car, you're doing something on a piece of machinery, whatever the case may be. These are really handy. And for fly tires, I'm surprised how many people don't know about these. They're fantastic. Um, again, I like to sometimes watch uh, sports or watch a movie with my wife or The Crown. And we're sitting there, I put this dish in the corner and I'm trying to put three or four hooks in it and close the box, but I know they're not gonna fall out of this. The dish may fall on the ground, but the likelihood of these bouncing out these hooks is pretty low. So one of these magnetic dishes, and they have different sizes of them, but this one's like a medium size. I recommend you get these for fly tying. They're great on your table. I have actually got a couple of them. Or having one when you move around to different places, or even I have one that's in my little satchel that I take over to friends. When a bunch of us gets together to tie flies, I just put it there on the table right away because I know if I gotta throw some hooks in there, I've gotta put flies in it, whatever the case may be. Anything that's magnet that I want to use the, the, the magnets in this for, it's perfect. The last item I want to show you is courtesy of the people at Mio. And Mio is the company I talked about a while ago uh, that makes some really great boxes. A friend of mine told me about them. Uh, he's a competitive fly fisher, and he told me about how everybody in the competitive fly fishing world in the United States and Canada had discovered them from the Europeans who are very big on them. And that's these boxes that they make. Now, first, let me show you, like this is one of their fly boxes and I'll talk about these in another uh, future video. But what I'm talking about here are these organizers. The people at Mio, when I they found out I did the video, contacted me and they sent me a couple of these and they're absolutely fantastic for getting organized. And some of you know, I'm kind of big on getting organized. And what's great, you can see these little dishes in here? There's all my beads. And I got one for cone heads. Uh, you can use it for all types of hooks, small hooks, etc. But what's really cool about these, I'm gonna show you. You know, each one, you open them up, you got a nice little perfect dish. 
But what I even like better is that when I organize them, you can either use a marker to write on the bottom of them, or conversely, you can uh, use tape to mark on the bottom of them. And this is my Dyna tape. Mark on the bottom with the sizes. So this one I know is the 3.2 millimeter. It's one eighth of an inch and it's tungsten. I can see obviously they're fluorescent, but that's not the, the thing. I wanna know the sizes, especially if I'm reading a pattern and they're recommending a certain size of bead or cone head. And these boxes are fantastic because I've got a great latch here to hold them together. And I can stick them in my bag when I'm going over to a friend's and they're, they're handy. Or conversely, I can take only what I need out of here, take these small little dishes. Um, Cause I, I gotta tell you, like I tried using tubes like this with the little lids on it and they're good. Don't get me wrong, they're great. And for some people, they're probably the best thing. But I found these because you can hang them up on a hook. They got a little tag here to hang them up. Probably made for putting up in the store, but I use them behind me here. And I hang them up and I'm, I'm just, I'm going to buy some more of these. I think they're about $16. They're not that expensive. And that includes all the little dishes in them and really well built, really built, well built. So uh, if you're trying to get organized, this is a great tip for fly time. Uh, these meal boxes are fantastic because you can get everything organized in terms of hooks, other pieces uh, such as uh, cone heads, beads, etc. These are fantastic for getting organized and knowing what you have and when you're running out or for transporting. If you're going up to a cottage, you're going in the field or you're just going over to a friend's and you want to take some of your different assortments of uh, bead heads or, or hooks, this gets you organized and keeps them all together. And I hope these fly tying tips, which really aren't fly tying tips, they're more about being organized again and little tips for around where you, you like to tie flies. But I hope they help you. I find these boxes, the magnets, the dish. And of course, you know how I feel about these labelers. They're absolutely fantastic. If you want to get organized, if you want to keep your fly tying area safe, get the magnet, get the box. Um, and in future videos, we're going to talk more about some of the boxes that this company Mio makes. And before you're wondering, no, they're not sponsoring me. They actually sent me some boxes after seeing my one video. And I got to tell you, they make their stuff for spin fishing. It's fantastic. Uh, but I'll talk about that in another fly, uh, another video, because I want to tell you about these boxes because they're really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great season. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.